Hello? Hello? Are we live? Are we live? Are we alive? Oh, yes, it says we are alive. Oh, that's me moving. Hey, brother. What up, banging T? E Rock, what's goody two shoe? Dang four five. What up, what up? Oh, man. What up, Q? What up, Steph? Awkward, what up, bro? What up, Sheila? Come on. Shimon, Shimon, Mike. Bro, I was uh, you guys heard the the A Boogie with the hoodie project yet? Oh yeah, okay. I wonder if I could do this without making an uncomfortable amount of noise. Ah, uh, this was great success. Yes. Appreciate you, Awkward. I'm about to be showing off the new, new one right now. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh God, holy mic stand. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, bro, there's just one song that A Boogie's got where he's like, he does like, he flips like, uh, he flips like two Michael Jackson melodies. The shit was so funny, but it was good. It was good. Cause like out of all the Michael Jackson songs to, to flip vocally or melody wise, he hit the, you rock my world. Which is the shit he came out with like in 2001, but it it was pretty crazy, cause I forgot how dope that song was melodically. That was a slept on Michael Jackson album. Pretty dope. Anyway, let me get some Sampelias in here, bro. Let's run that Ski Mask 7. Let's see what we got. What up, Ben? Man, I went a little, I think I went a little too hard with these, bro. This is, this is another $5 pack. 
I don't think I'm gonna be doing another five dollar pack like this. God damn. X Files type beats. Let me ask you something, bro. <sighs> do I use either one of those sites? Do I use do I use BeatStars or do I use Wix? The answer is no. So you gotta be careful when you ask people their opinion on the quote unquote best way to do stuff. Or when you see how everybody else does stuff and like and like I do everything completely different. So like my advice on on you know the quote unquote best way to set up a marketplace to uh to sell loops might be fucking trash advice, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like have you ever bought anything from my site? Have you ever been to my site? Like my shopping cart is a mess. You can't even you can't even put more than one item in it at a time. I am uh all that is to say is I'm not the right person to uh to ask that question and you should definitely research um folks' situation. Find uh find something that I'm, I'm gonna tell you how to get this information. Find a situation where you see the way that they that they have their shit set up and uh and what you like about that and then go ask that that person. Because, um, because yeah, that don't, that don't make no, that don't make no sense to, uh, <laughs> to ask me for that advice. I'd be the, I, I'd be giving you the wrong advice, bro. That's a good one too. Oh God. Oh God, I went nuts on this pack. hit this one loader L M N O N O L M N O N O. There we go. We're going to need to speed that thing up, though. <laughs> Bro. Bro, Manati. Sampelia edit. Take me to edit the sample, yeah. Tempi, let's make the new Tempi 160, bro. Let's see what it sounds like at 160, dog. She, dog. We're gonna make it faster, dog. Do it, bro. Make that shit fast.
Is that the ski mask pack? Which one? There's two. Uh, this one hasn't came out yet, bro. This is Ski Mask Volume 7, bro. There's fucking seven of them now. I think I like that. What else we got? What up, R. Williams? On the Logic Pro stuff. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'll agree with you. What up, science degree? All right. Whoa, why do I still have drums in there? No, I don't want these fuck ass drums in my beat, bro. I gotta take this out of my template. Still tweaking the template, bro. Still tweaky tweaky the template. The template is gasiso, bro. This shit is so fire, dog. It's gasolina, dog. Like people in Lil John, bro. She, dog. Yeah, see, we don't need you in here. Let's see what else. Oh, I got shit up here. I don't need this. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm, no, sir. That's better. Let's find a snare ski. Why don't we? No snares there. Oh, dog, I got so much rhythm, dog. Ooh. Thank you. 
notes we like the step sequencer Party dog, shit, bro. Get these drums snappy lapping, dog. Shit, get them snappy pappy, bro. No, you just relax your face. Oh, what do we got? Bye, banger. Whoa, whoa, what's going on there? Bangers in the chats. Bro, I step sequence. Don't, 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 don't. Ain't nobody got that time for that much negativity, bro. Shit, dog. You know me, dog. <laughs> Whoa. 
dog. That's why I step sequence, bro. Cause I suck at the finger drums, dog. She, sorry to break your fucking heart, dog. Your boy is a fraud. Two G's, bro. She, dog. She, do you know how I do it, bro? Keep it funky. Keep it snapping, babies. is there babies <laughs> dog that's gonna be all flouked up dog hold up I hope that I got my quantized dog so it doesn't embarrass me on the stream baby so you guys don't see how trash my timing really is oh bro oh bro that shit looks beautiful dog Except for this guy right here. Shit. This guy tried to make a fool of me, dog. Shit, bro. You better stop it. You better stop it, bro. Dog, shit, dog. Shit, dog. Get out of here. Haha, <laughs> piano roll. Hey, can't be me. Hey. Oh, what's popping in the chat, dog?
<laughs> the struggle will not be televised, it'll be streamed. Hey, nah, the struggles are over, bro. <laughs> Yeah, she left, bro. That's why. That, that's why I love this shit, bro. Like, I started. I started out. Um, I started out producing. Uh. All right. So I tell you. I tell you guys. I tell you guys how I uh, <clears throat> how I, how I got into beats. Right. First, let me go back in the chat. Hold on. I want to make sure I didn't miss nobody. Whoa, no, definitely not the NPC master, bro. Just, just, uh, just, uh, just having some fun, bro. Definitely not the NPC master. Y'all gotta relax. Oh my God. Can't commit. What up, bro? No, hey, ninety nine percent of the rappers are fraud. Yeah, but it's it's always been like that. Masada NPC in the building. What's up, bro? Pleasure seeing you on my channel, sir. If y'all don't know, Masada got them packs, boy. Oh yeah, the key group shit, bro. I'm bro. I'm gonna do a. I'm bro. I'm I'm bang. I'm I'm about to drop a video, of, of fucking uh of of um just my thoughts on the um on the standalone workflow of this thing, bro. Cause there's, <laughs> bro. It dog. It, no, it, it should not be that difficult to make a key group, dude. Like, this should this should stupid. But, um, nah, Sheila, what, um, hold up, I gotta hear this again. Hey, hey, uh, hey. Oh, dog, what am I doing, bro? Hold on, bro, shit, dog. This ain't a CMP beat until we get some rolling polies with the hi hats, dog. Do you know how I do it, dog? Do you know how I do it, babies? Let's go. Oh, no, not the sequence. Not the sequence, but the track, dog. Yeah. Now let's go to the grid. Where the flauk did I put my mother loving? Those are C ones. Okay. Hey, do you know what I'm about to do, bro? Do you know what I'm about to do, dog? We killing it, bro. She, dog. Trap Master, Trap Master Productions, dog. key group now nah, making no making the key group is like is fast what's what's stupid about it I'm, I'm gonna make a video about it i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna go on a rant about it it's just it, it's just it's it, it's dumb the fact that yeah whatever anyway um 
what's it called the damn sheila the, uh, the 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 reason why this shit is so much fun to me it makes me feel <laughs> it's just it's it, it, it's dope is because when i started when i started making beats right so i was um you know i was in a i i, I was in a rap group in the late 90s early 2000s and it was it was, bro like the beat game was the beat game back then dude like uh locals were hitting you for like 500 bucks for a beat you know and i was um i was real early on the like before this was a normal thing like i was real early on the let's try to do everything ourselves i was very inspired um not musically but i was very inspired um business wise by like master p and three six mafia and po boy records out of um out of miami and um and uh and, and luke and them um so i wanted i wanted to do everything i wanted to do everything myself and you know in order to get a uh in order to get in order to get beach you'd have to you'd have to get an npc and there was like th there was people who was down to work with me for free but i just i didn't like their music man like everybody everybody that had an npc they were making mob deep type beats and you know that you know that was cool but you know i wanted i, I wanted like some slower tempos i wanted like some south shit and i wanted to experiment with like taking you know taking like rizza type of samples and, and and just doing it on like you know doing it more like like a rizza type sample but like early trick daddy type of bass type of shit so um you know i got my hands on an npc to, bro i got my first npc 2000 for five hundred dollars just from just from some rich boy from weston who uh you know started making beats of high school and he didn't want to make beats anymore so I bought that, uh, I bought, I bought the, I bought the sound module, but the thing about it was the way that I used the MPC was I didn't necessarily sample a lot. I had a sound module. So the MPC was a 16 track sequencer for, you know, for my sounds for this, uh, for this Roland synth. It's the JV 1080, the one that's in the Roland cloud. And, um, you know that that workflow it it was just it it, it was always fun because the only time you know still you know still living as a teenager back then still living with my folks like i couldn't I, I did not have the type of house where you could where you could experiment with uh with creativity as as far as like being loud and shit you know what i mean like my dad woke up very early to go to work he'd come home and smoke a joint and, and take a nap and then get like like you know like like whoop your ass pissed if he uh if he got woken up so um when i would go when i would go and make beats it was always it, it was always at the party house in the neighborhood and you know i'll go i'll go set my stuff up in the corner and um you know everybody will be everybody will be like drinking and smoking and shit and just you know just just you just using these pads and and learning how to play melodies on on the pads not having a keyboard and then going back and doing this shit it it, it just it links me it links me back to a to a simpler time man you know it's it's easier to get into the vibe yeah i mean no i mean this was like th yeah this was like 90 no this was like 2000 2001 so it was it was uh but they didn't they, they weren't like the producers that weren't giving me the they weren't giving me the uh like they weren't dropping the um the learning type beats you know what i mean like they wasn't giving me burn they were giving me you know they were giving me the stuff that came out and in 96 you know like like that was that i was five like i didn't want to i didn't and, and it was like it, it wasn't sample strings it was triton strings so it was like cheesy ass cheesy ass you know like sad strings with the boom -ta, -ta. and the and the t -t 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 hi-hat bro I, I i hate the hi-hat i need like some movement <laughs> Thank you.
tunes. I already got a lunchbox. These samples, the these samples are, are are were processed through the uh through the um the do it yourself uh color modules. Bro, I the I, the uh, BHF. I shouldn't have sold you on shit, bro. I uh, I told all y'all on Twitter, and I'll I'll, I'll tell y'all in the stream right now. Y'all gotta stop buying shit, cause you see, cause you see me using it, bro. Um, you, you gotta, you gotta, um, cause I, cause I've been in that place, um, and you're gonna, and 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 you're gonna waste a lot of money, dude. You know what I mean, like, um. You're gonna wind up wasting a lot of money doing that shit. Hold on a second. I need to I'm 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 getting ready to track this beat out, so I wanna I wanna turn my mic around. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, what was I saying? Like I don't like like I don't I don't work for none of these fucking companies, bro. Like I don't I don't have I don't have affiliate deals. This is this is not how I make my living. You know, I uh I I'll be on YouTube, you know, d you know, doing the tutorials. I wasn't even going to fucking have a paid site when I when I started doing it. But um Yeah, that like I have I have a, uh, I have a, you know, like, like the way, the, the way my stuff is set up, like I have, I have a business, it's a profitable business. Everything, everything that I buy is, uh, is a write-off for, you know, you know, for my company so that, you know, so, so that my income isn't, isn't, uh, isn't taxed against that shit, you know? So, um, so when I so when I want to go and experiment with like thousand dollar boxes and shit like that, um, you know, maybe and then maybe I don't, you know, maybe I don't stick with it, and I, you know, and I and and I sell it after six months or something, and maybe I take like a three hundred dollar loss on on it or whatever, like that. That shit, um, you know, that shit doesn't affect me. It's 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 all added up in the cost of um in the cost of me doing business. Um, you guys. It makes it makes me re it makes me really uncomfortable that you guys go out and buy all the shit that you see me having fun with because it's not necessary, it's not needed, you know. I don't even know what that is. What the hell is that? What the what the hell? <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I could see that, bro. I could definitely see that. Yeah, like when the like like when that touch came out, bro. I was not uh what the one about you logging into the site? Yeah, I got it. Um yeah, when that touch came out, I was not impressed. I was like, "Well, here we go. We got an Akai machine." Which it's still it's still mad weird to me that so many people use these things, especially the ones that have a, especially the ones that have um, standalone capabilities as MIDI controllers, bro. Like y'all are cowards. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Show times. Yeah. No, nah, I'm definitely <laughs> Blood Dragon. That's uh that's my goal, man. You got it. You got it. Uh, you got it right on the money, bro. Y'all boys, y'all boys chasing Taz Taylor and them, bro. I want the, I want the, I want the dudes who are really, who are really pushing the culture forward, bro. Well, I say y'all boys. I don't mean like people in this chat. I know, I, I know that's not y'all bag. Okay. Do I got? Do I have MIDI hooked up? Let me see. Let me see. Hey, hey. Oh, this is the fun part. You guys get to hear me sauce the samples, bro. Oh, yeah. All right, let me uh All right, check this out. So it's a two it's a two part process now because 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 I'm just crazy, right? Um <laughs> Yo Eric <laughs> gang, bro. <laughs> gang. Um so it's a two part process, right? So I so I come out of the out of the NPC and now I go into the back of the lunchbox. I've I've had the lunchbox bypass while we're creating because it does uh it does some marvelous things and I didn't want to uh I didn't want to affect the whole sound. Um Bro, mine doesn't just snap to sync, dog. I I made a whole video about how I had to do that. But um anyway, anyway guys. So let me uh let me uh let me engage the hold on let me I'll put this uh change the camera angle for y'all boys man Let me see so you guys can get a uh y'all can get a y'all can get a picture picture me rolling I got keys coming from over thief. <laughs> Call the brother 300 G's. I'm a street commando. You know, for example, this lavish lifestyle is hard to handle. Third bread to be a woman layer. Made me want to start bang banging. All that jealousy and envy called for my enemies. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Let me get y'all some lights, man. What up, Stone? So I need to hit a lick drastically. All right, take a look at uh, I need to get a cover for these for these other uh, for these other for these other four slots. See, I'm I'm such an idiot, bro. I should have got like a, I should have just got the um, the 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 two slot deal. Cause then I would have just had two 500s and it would have all been gravy. But now that I have six slots, I got to buy six more or four more. Cause I'm a completionist. And, uh, you know, I got, you know, cause I, cause I don't want to leave all this open. Um, and just have a, have a whole bunch of blank space, not doing nothing, you know? Whoa, the Zeebs. Yo, God damn it. No, no. You're going to go out there. And you're going to see that it ain't shit. They don't want to come back in here.
fucking killer dogs. <sighs> I got the uh, I got I, I I got the the tape one. I got the red one, and I got the blue one. So each one, each one, uh, each one, uh, um, this is like the intensity of it. Each color is a different color module. This is the tape sim. This is the this is the transformer amp, and then this is the um, the other like preamp distortion deal. And then this is these are these are wet dry knobs on the bottom, right? So if you don't have these engaged, the lights will turn down, and you'll have. Now that that kick is already pretty pretty damn saucy, but when you engage these, So I like that. That's a that gives it a that gives it a a scotch more thump. This is this is all about scotchisms, you know. Whoa, brother. Yo, and this, the, like that, the, that, bro, this color box, dude, it, uh, uh, no S class. Why don't you, why don't you make me a tutorial on how to set up, uh, on how to set up, uh, on how to set up pipeline, bro? Run me a tutorial on how to set up pipeline with the Studio 192. Oh God, that is aggressive. Yeah, you laughing. Yeah, you laughing out loud, bro. You laughing out loud. Make make, make me a tutorial. Show me how to do that shit. I got your law right here, buddy. Yeah. Shit. I'm over here.
Yo. Yeah, so so for some reason there is a mark that for some reason there is a there is a ridiculous um <coughs> excuse me, a, a ridiculous feedback loop. A ridiculous feedback loop, dude. Like when I'm uh I'll have 
you know, so I got it. It'll be the the DAW audio will be coming out, right? And then we'll have and then you'll have your mix your mix three four over here. And it's like it's 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 ridiculous. It's a ridiculous feedback loop. And I I tried every every possible configuration. When you mute when you mute uh when you mute the input and you turn and you turn the DAW fader down and you mute and you mute the uh the output of uh, of the line out but you play the track inside inside the DAW you still hear the audio and the audio still comes out of the main and that th that causes so when you go to use pipeline it causes this ridiculous feedback loop and everything just goes <laughs> it was crazy but if you uh if you figure it out dude i would be i would be forever grateful for you because it would be really awesome to uh you know to have that type of functionality that would be amazing Roxy, shut up, man. Yeah, you said. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, man, yeah, it, it's it's not the interface. It's the it's the uh, it's the routing on a. Uh, yeah, the bypass. You see. Ah, I didn't even know you could bypass. You see, I would have I, I would have been bypassed. You see, you said, bro. Me and you see. Me and you see we're about to take it to the streets today, bro. Press the blue Z on the master. Yeah, no, I'm definitely not trying it right now. I'm in my I'm in my bag right now. I'm in my bagaroni. No, I'm not changing the outputs on the pads. Oh, this is the wrong BPM. Hold on, young sir. There we go. This is probably gonna be way too loud. Bro, it's so dude, these these drums out of the MPC through the lunchbox are so crazy, like when you use when you use trap kits, the the eight hundred eight just kind of just kind of swallows up everything, and dude, like this is like like this is a whole different vibe as far as drums are concerned, a whole different vibe. I love it, I love it. It is so beautiful. Just, let me just show y'all what I'm talking about, man. So y'all, y'all know my regular, my regular. Nah, it's it, it's not that bang. It's something else. It's something else, bro. It's something else. I was, I was, I was running this on, I was running this on samples. I was using, I, I was, I was using pipeline as, as an effect for my lunchbox. So like, all right, you see, this is, this is my gain staging, right? You know, negative six, 
and then normally we have we have the 808 we have the 808 at like negative 12 right but when i put that 808 at negative 12 in this signal chain boy Dude, now I haven't even side chained the kick or the the eight oh eight yet. So when that starts happening, watch. This, I mean, this shit is crazy, bro. Like, this is drums, dude. to suggest that brother good idea welcome to the chat by the way sir all right so if y'all uh if y'all uh in case in case y'all didn't know in case y'all ain't know if y'all ain't know um when you roll out to the uh bro that's what i'm trying that's what i'm trying to say dog if you roll out to studio one tutorials and you click on the vi sounds tab you will notice that we got some newbies we got arrangement arsenal of volume three i like this cover i got the uh i got this uh the, i finally got the record fucking template and um, <laughs> I shouldn't have put it on this because everybody's been asking me if this is a loop kit. This is not in the loop kit. This is 10 arrangements. Um, and I just, I, I took the arrangements from the from the Rap Caviar playlist from the top songs and uh, learning learning some learning some really cool stuff. But I want to show you guys how, how I personally use Arrangement Arsenal because I know it's designed to be used. Like you, you can drag, um, you can drag, um, you know, you open a track and, um, you know, drag your instruments into it. But. No. Open the original. So arrangement arsenal, it, it, it opens up like this. You have you have you have your busing. You know, I, 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 I pre run the busing for you. And then, um, you know, you could go in, you could go into each session and go to the, um, you know, go to your instruments and drag your instruments onto, you know, onto these buses. And then you'll be all routed out. And then I have, I have the arrangement up here where you can see the basic arrangement of the song. And then um, down in the actual regions, I have notes on what instruments are being played you know at these certain times and then also you could see laid out on the timeline you know the different drops in the beat and stuff like that so um you know the way that i use it is i'll go into is i'll go into a song and i will i'll just copy this whole midi region right here and go back into go back into my session and then just paste it um as a new track 
and then I'll throw it I'll throw it up at the top so I've so I've got that right there then I'll go back then I'll go back into this session right here go and grab the drum arrangement and command copy go back into my go back into my deal go back down here paste it ooh run this on a new MIDI track and then this way I know this is the drum this is the drum arrangement and because and because and because they're blank uh because they're blank MIDI regions uh it doesn't matter what bpm you're working in right so this is cool you know the, um because because of the way that because of the way that i lay out my um you know my color codes and everything this is a really easy way to get up and running with an arrangement right so i know i know like right here for example i'm not going to have any drums so I'll just go ahead and delete all these. I'll delete all these. We'll take these and do this. Right. We have a drop right here. We'll do this. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. And we'll do this and then we'll do this. Okay. So boom, now we got now we got our nice little our nice little arrangement for the most part. Here's the thing. If you look at if you look at this arrangement, for example, um, this is uh this is the arrangement from Going Bad with Meek and Drake. If you know that song, <coughs> damn, I'm gonna have to chill out in a little bit. Um, if you know that song, you know that there's a high piano and a low piano, and they kind of go back and forth. So for f for this song. I, I, I could do a couple things. I could mimic it uh, by just going to transpose and dropping this down an octave. See what that sounds like. If it sounds dope, we'll keep it. Yes, yeah, that's pretty cool. But I think what I want to do is I want to take it a step even further. And I'm just going to go and I'm going to grab halftime. Okay. And then this way I can kind of use some of the. Yeah, because I don't want to get rid of all the lows. I mean, all the highs. Cool. And then this way, this this way I could still have this way I could still have um I could still have the variation. Right? Low octave piano, boom. High octave, high octave, and then we go back to low octave here. Oh. 
Oops. Strike that. Reverse it. I don't think the template changes your uh, your your output and inputs in your in your song settings. It's just uh, it's just my routing templates. Yeah, the yeah, the audio in and out shouldn't change, bro. That shouldn't change at all. crazy is this this bitch is slapping i haven't even put any any limiting or nothing on it so chico imagine bro what happened Bro, that's such bullshit, dog. I press command S. I pressed. I pressed save, and the bitch crashed. <sighs> Showtime. You uh, you you you, you, you uh, you, you a trap producer or you fuck with boom bap?
All right. Both. Sound toys didn't crash it though. Fuck it. It's the studio one did when I hit save. I just I, I, I I've been getting mad crashes and I, I I upload I updated all my plugins because usually that's that's what that is. It's it's usually it's usually all of our awesome plugins that aren't uh, talking to the doll correctly. Damn, my arrangement is gone and everything. Fluck me, dog. Shit, bro. My life will never be the same. Take me feel this way. The way you walk and the way you talk is all because of me. All right, Stone. That would make you soft for that would make you stop for the day? <laughs> you soft, bro. No, that's soft, dog. I don't I I don't care if you can't deal with the verbiage. That is soft. You can't be you can't be a fucking tough guy and goddamn quit because your project crashed. Come on now. Come on now. What would you call that? What would you call that? Emotionally unstable? Ah, I I I'm going to wrap it in anger so it makes me more comfortable. Come on, man. Come on. Let's be honest.
that. We got little pops and clicks. We don't want no pops and clicks. We don't want no pops and clicks. We don't want no pops and clicks, no. There we go. Hey. Let's get it. arrange it better anyway oh all right so the first go and take this export the song I think the thing that's that's like the craziest about this NPC shit is just like it's just how dominant how dominant it makes it makes the drums, you know? Like it It's crazy cuz you could really do that's why I was asking that's why I was asking you guys about if you fucked with boom bap or if you fuck with trap because you can you, you can really like dig into these trap patterns um oh shit i almost messed up dog what up alby you can really dig into these trap patterns and do all that um you know and still have an 808 bass and do all that but your kick and your snare and your hi hats because of the coloring from the box they it's it, they're gonna dominate and sit on top of everything and if you mix it right you could still get like a a, a very like hip hop or, or boom bap type of vibe with 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 the trap seasoning <laughs> to go back to pan man Sonny I'm just fucking with you bro you ain't gotta you ain't gotta take it serious I appreciate you popping up in the chat Another thing, another thing that I like about this shit, listen to this. Like there, there is noise on these tracks. There is noise from the signal chain. You hear that? That little buzz at the end? That little... That's not part of the hi-hat. And I was hearing that when I was recording. I was like, you know what? I'm going to put everything together, see how it sounds. That shit is... That, that's vibes right there, bro.
Yeah, absolutely. That's what I did. That's what I did with these samples. This whole this whole ski mask kit right here. These are <laughs> these are these are all ran through the NPC and then ran through um ran through my color palette. <laughs> Yeah, cause I I I, <laughs> I don't like the way Omnisphere sounds anymore. Um, after after having the after having the. Uh, Thank you, Najee. I appreciate you, bro. Thanks for showing up in the chat. Um, nah, I, I I don't like the way the Omnisphere sounds, bro. I think Omnisphere sounds fucking doo doo. Um, since messing around with the Prophet and the Moog so much, <laughs> but um, but to, you, you know, making uh, you know, just j just coming just coming into this workflow, realizing you know how much I like taking you know like uh, you know sample packs I get from somewhere else, running them through the machine. Then I'm like, yo, I make my own sample packs. Let me just, you know, let me just do that for everything. You know, that's, you know, that's my vibe. It's just, I'm just, I'm just going to make samples and, you know, put them up for sale, use them myself um, when I want to use other people's samples, you know, run everything through MPC, run it through the color module because they, you know, there's, there's this. You know, that's digitally processed, and then there's this. Like, that's super narrow. That's massive. volume seven is is it's so it's so much fatter it has so much it has so much more weight in it which is which is important if you're gonna do like what i do and and you take these samples and you wind up yeah it sounds real thin bro that's what i was saying like i don't like the way omnisphere sounds no more i don't like I, I, everything everything i put in it, everything i put in the doll like as far as um as far as um as far as making the beats, as far as the final versions, dude, I, I want it like now I, I want it all to be audio. I want it all to be ran through, you know, through a signal chain. Like this is the, this is that crazy shit that, you know, you never you never get until you get to experience the, the workflow every day 
where it's like, you know, people want to run their stuff through boards and, you know, mix on, you know, mix on this board and everything like that. That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what shit like the, like the lunchbox and the NPC is all about. It's a, it's a shortcut, um, to give you that type of, to, to give me that type of vibe. Like, I mean, dude, these things sound so... That's two instruments, bro. Like, you know what guitar that is? That's the, the that's the stupid, um uh AAS um strum that's this little cheesy piece of shit right here where the hell is it this guy that's that Yeah, bro. Oh, mama, bro. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Bro, you know you know what this loop is, bro. You know what this loop is. You know you know what I, <laughs> you know you know what I, y'all are gonna y'all are gonna be mad. You know what? I'm not gonna show you this because I'm because I'm gonna sample this. I don't want you. I don't want you. No, no, no. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm i I'm gonna make this beat though. I'll make this beat because I can't. I, I I can't believe nobody's done it. I actually I, I've I've actually done it. I did it. I did it with Robert Blake. I didn't know if he was gonna use it yet, but but, but I'm gonna redo it my style. Um, I can't believe that no that nobody's hit this yet, bro. Like y'all are y'all are retarded. Like we're like we're doing trap and no one's done this. Come on, nobody's done that? Tripping, bro. Tripping. <coughs> I'm about to make that beat after the stream. But yeah, that's the the that's what that was my warm-up music for this for this loop right here. Oh, y'all can't hear it? Oh, it sucks for you. Y'all don't know what that is, though. Y'all don't. Oh man. Is this one? Play, fucker. I know Banging knows what it is. Oh man, nah, they don't want me to be great. Whatever, he don't want you guys to be great. I think I got it here. Yeah. 
yeah. I know I got it here. Whoa, iceberg. <laughs> iceberg. Iceberg with the spice <laughs> with the spice, the hug. Okay. All right. Maybe it's the birds. Maybe like maybe like people was just like, yeah, I don't I don't want the birds in my beat or something. I don't know. Y'all tripping though. Yeah, Saf, I'm just getting over it. Yeah, hold up. <laughs> I just want to see some. I'm pretty sure this is in. What is this? Is C minor? I just, I, I just want to see something real quick. I just want to see if it fits. Just for fun, real quick. Give it like three months. Somebody's going to have a hit record with that sample. <laughs> Peace to the fucking chat lurkers. Can't believe y'all don't know that song, bro. That was like, I don't know. Maybe if it's just old, that was like the fucking biggest song that year. Oh, what do you want to see? Why don't I bring it out? Because I don't have placement plugs, bro. No fuck I'm gonna bring it out to. You can't just like you can't just like wish to give a song to Juice World. Oh, God. Yeah. 
Yo, this is officially the worst title fucking artist shot I've ever seen in my life, dog. Oh my god, bro. What is this guy doing? What is this guy's doing? What is this guy doing? Oh, Matthew Curtis. Curtis! Nah, you right, bro. <laughs> oh Callum Clark you thought that was rude my bad bro that's not rude that's called that's called the fucking some somebody talking to you directly bro that's how that's how we that's how we get down on on craft master productions bro <laughs> MG's got that customer service flow. He's got that he's got that Apple customer service flow. I've got that I've got that uh I've got that direct reaction type of vibe. MG was uh MG was explaining to me how they trained him at the fucking Apple Genius Bar for there's like four di for there's like four different type of personalities and um they all they all come to you in different ways and then he was like he was like yeah you know that's why I talk in this certain tone and da 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 da, da. and then when so when I get frustrated and I say motherfucker I get a whole bunch of comments talking about hey MG why did you curse in your video <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm just always like, and I'm just always like, uh, very direct because my work experience is being a fucking, is being a fucking manager, um, a foreman at a construction company. Uh, no, Gerald. <laughs> Yo, this dude right here, bro. This dude right here look like <laughs> look like he's gonna fight all your traffic tickets for you, dog. <laughs> I'm still I'm still wilding off this shit, dog. <laughs> I'm still wilding off this shit. All right, what are we doing? I'm trying to, bro, somebody hit me up talking about. Oh. Bro, that's that's going to be my album cover, dog. I'm I'm going to drop the hardest rap album of all time and use that as a and use that as an album cover. Hold on. Let's uh we got breaking news. Oh shit, I'm starting to feel like shit again. God damn it. I knew I shouldn't have done this. I need to go drink some water. Nah, I, I, I think he's a singer. Whoa, Kendra Lust, all up on my timeline, looking fucking why. Alright, what is this? What is this mess? Akai, APC Live. 
New Ableton Live controller. Among the most popular controllers for Ableton Live is the APC series by Akai. With the release of Push 1 and 2, Ableton has stirred up the market nicely. Now Akai seems to follow suit. Today's images have leaked of a new APC controller that looks like a fusion of Ableton Push and the MPC Live controller. If we can trust the leaked pictures of the APC Live features and pads similar to the Push controller, left, right, start button, eight mappable knobs, a large touch screen, I don't understand though. What what is this supposed to be? Oh god, it was just a butt. Y'all relax. Um on the back you can see it has an interface built in with two inputs, 48 volts, uh, four outputs, MIDI outputs. Bro, what is this? Th this does not look real. On the right side, it will have a USB hub, USB connection. Huh, that's an interesting little conspiracy. That's an interesting little conspiracy. It looks fake as shit. I just don't understand, like, like, what is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be a... Uh... Like, is this supposed to be Ableton Live standalone? I don't know why Akai would design something for Ableton Live to be standalone. I don't know why we would put an audio interface... This doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's fake news. Yeah, but melodic mouse, like it, it's standalone for what? It's standalone, like the, like this is an APC. APC is the line of controllers for, for Ableton. So it's gonna run Ableton Live standalone. I don't think so. I don't like it. I think it's fake news. All right, you guys, I'm going I'm to jump off the stream. I'm starting to kind of feel like shit again. And, and I got to go to work tomorrow. Ugh, I don't want to do it. I want to take the whole week off. You guys keep it simple. Do not be basic. And we will see you on the next one, fans. And thank you for the new people stopping by the chat. I appreciate y'all.